that your chaos can't do that. I think so, but what in the world were those things? Can S and D come out to play? S and D, no! You all thought you could escape from me? What are you doing, you creep? I'll come over to your room and I'll punch you square in the nickel. Come on, let's get him! Come on out and fight, you coward! I'll burn you to ashes if it's the last thing I do! You can't do this! I won't let you! I'll kill you for this! I ran into- And he's acting really weird and creepy and- And I'm scared, what do I do? I won't let that happen! Really? What's it going to prove? Look around you. Dad, help! S and T, what's going on? But I don't know. Hey, no way! Excellent. And that, my dear, is how you ruin one's reputation forever. Come, my dear Thunderwave, our journey into the dark web is finally complete.
What are you doing? Can you not? I never want to feel like this ever again. Please. Thanks for letting me not do this alone. I have suffered enough. This is too much. <laughs> Stop it, that's mine. Okay, I must be dreaming. There's no way. I believe it, I agree. of SNT snapshot. What's going on? Katni, listen to me. When Minister Sofo says my witness, I'm about to perform a very difficult operation called disassembly. If I can open up SNT scripts and clean every last viral infection to its core, there may be a 50-50 chance of survival. But be warned. If this assembly is unsuccessful, then this will be the very last time we'll ever see s &T. Courtney, will you help me? Eesh. Right then, Courtney. Follow me. God, what in the hell happened? Minister Sophos, we need your help. SNT just got infected by a virus, and we need your help to perform a disassembly as soon as possible. Disassembly, Mr. Void. You do realize that this is very advanced and very dangerous. Tampering with such scripts will result in data loss. Minister Sophos, SNT and I have already passed the second exam, and we're now A-tier antiviruses. I believe, Minister Norton, that we are now authorized to learn disassembly, am I right? But of course. Technically, Mr. Void, every student that passes the second exam is authorized to learn the third and final course of the UAV. Dean of the UAV has spoken. We need to learn disassembly as soon as possible. If we want to win this fight, SNT must be alive. It's just like, I don't know. I don't like seeing myself in a fan fiction. Very well, Mr. Void. I am giving you one chance to perform this disassembly procedure. And if you should fail, and you probably will fail, I will demote you back to your previous rank, and you will spend the next 30 years in quarantine for the death of Saint. Do you understand the severity of these circumstances? Minister Sophos, we have no choice but to try. Very well. 
but we will have to go back to the monastery. All of my antivirus equipment are still inside. Please, come back alive. Oh, isn't he? Listen to me, you oh little cutie. I'm gonna do everything in my power to disinfect you and protect you. I promise you, my darling. Alright, Minister Sophos. Let's begin. Alright, Miss Courtney Projection. Do you still have a backup of since last snapshot? I don't even know anymore. Precisely. Using a backup snapshot, we can reinstall a clean copy of Sint. Thank you for suffering with me. I will, Katni. You have my promise. Alright, Mr. Void. Let us begin. Using the snapshot given to you by Cartney Projection, you're going to reach for that laptop and you and scan the picture onto the scanner. Good, good, very good. Next, is the important task of opening up Microsoft Visual Studio and studying the code that Sint is infected with. So it looks like SNT has been infected by the love letter worm and the one half virus. I love you, also known as the love letter worm or the love bug, was a computer worm that attacked over 10 million Windows personal computers worldwide. The worm's payloads include mass mailing itself, it searches for files to modify, mostly by replacing those files with a copy of itself. If the file has a VBS, or VBE extension, it will simply overwrite the files. It will overwrite script files as well as the extension. Changing it to a VBS. And then we have one half. Again, it has his own MD5 hashes, this time with three signatures on this virus compared to the love letter worm. Every time the user boots or reboots the computer, the virus loads and encrypts the last two cylinders encrypted. The encryption is done by a randomly generated key which the decryption is performed to the same operation with the same key again and again. Upon accessing these encrypted cylinders, the virus decrypts them so that the user will never notice that their files are being encrypted. Careless disinfection will result in data loss. Since the virus holds the key for accessing these encrypted files, Removing the virus without decrypting them will result in users keeping all their encrypted files permanently. That's malicious. Excellent job, Dump Marks Void Ranger. Thank you, sir. Except, now comes the difficult task. Can you replace all the viral code with a clean copy from the original snapshot? Alright, so looking at this script, I understand that I need to remove step 100 to step 104 of both the one half and love letter worm simultaneously. And now that the virus is gone, let's copy and paste SMT's old snapshot file and... Void, what are you doing? Why did you stop? Well, this is it. If I press the enter button, SNT will forget about me for the rest of her life. And I will not let that happen! Yeah, I don't... Mm, I don't like that. 
Okay. I think I'm done with this. Ugh, okay. Well, I'm... Gonna... I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Finished your sofas? It's done. Disassembly complete. This fanfiction is mega sus, I believe. Wait, what happened? Hey! I'm so happy. Oh my god. Yeah, me too. I'm glad you're not hurt too bad. Well done, my boy. My brave little boy. You have passed not only the second exam, but the third exam as well. And I believe you are truly ready for the graduation exam, which I am authorizing on the U of his behalf. There is something else I must show you. Void Ranger, will you look into the dark web servers? What will I see? Things that are, things that weren't, and some things that have not yet come to pass. Now go on, type. Welcome ladies and gentlemen to the 9 o'clock news. We are content control. We begin tonight's broadcast with some breaking news. At exactly 9 o'clock at this hour, the Blueberry Boy and his group of lackeys have been captured by a third party syndicate who have sworn their allegiance with content control. They are a group well known in the nightmare medic they called the Heinous Hex. This syndicate will receive the censorship awards tomorrow afternoon in the monastery of Sincors at 3 p.m. As for the captured fugitives, they will be executed within the monastery of Sincerios immediately following this broadcast. Thank you all for watching tonight's broadcast. This is Content Control, signing off. The old Tory, what the hell is going on down there? Holy Jesus! Damn you big old Tory. You and you fed us to hell. Attention you disgusting creatures. Your universe has been chosen for our collection. If we face resistance of any kind, you'll suffer the consequences of your actions. This is not a friend. There is nothing you can do to stop it. The process has already begun. Soon your universe will be an uninhabitable 
by any kind of organism, man, woman, child, plant, animal, and bacteria, all life will cease to exist. Goodbye. All this time, these clowns tried to censor the UAV. They tried to censor our family and friends. They cut all communications with all the social media and the outside world. Not to mention, they banned thousands of online accounts and stole financial information for their own personal gain. And all this time, they intended to kill us all just to silence our freedom of speech? Precisely, Mr. Void. This is what will come to pass if you should fail. Then permit us to devise a solution to our little problem. <laughs> Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the final hour news with your host, Content Control. After Void Ranger finally passed not one but two exams and has finally cured SNT from all viruses in her system, Content Control has blocked the exits and are now holding both Katni and SNT hostage. So, is this the end for our heroes, and who will be able to save our friends from the evil forces of Content Control? Don't miss the heart-ripping episode of Axer Rangers S.